You know what's becoming more and more advanced? Children's toys. I mean, it went from dolls and action figures to remote control cars to Tickle Me Elmo's. And now we have little robot dogs that follow you around. It just seems to me that children's toys are advancing at such a rapid rate and uh, kids are actually going through toys so quickly. I mean, when I was young, I had some Transformers that my dad bought at some flea market and I had to take care of them because I didn't get toys that often. But the toys I had, I enjoyed them for years and never got sick of them. And now there's a hot must have toy every single year. I mean, I don't have any kids, so I don't know, but that's just the impression I have. Anyway, have you ever wondered what kids' toys look like millions of years ago? Researchers excavating a eroded basin in Hebei province, China, claim to have found a playground of ancient hominids from 2 million years ago. The playground contained stone artifacts carved by women and children, and some appear to be toys. The discovery was made at the Heigugou site in the Nihewan Basin, the site of some of the earliest Paleolithic remains in East Asia. The basin used to be an enormous lake, which provided an ideal habitat for early hominids. Nihewan was first discovered in 1921 and has already produced significant archaeological findings including a dining area where hunters ate their kills, ancient animal fossils, and stone tools dating back an incredible 2 million years. The well-preserved nature of the tools suggests they were buried by a sudden event like a landslide preventing further damage by wind and water erosion. Before the catastrophic event, the playground was likely a small paradise. The area of the playground was less than 6 square meters meters, but even in that small of a space, scientists were able to find 700 stone artifacts with nearly 20,000 fragmented pieces dating between 1.77 and 1.95 million years old. An examination of the artifacts suggests that they were too small to have been made by males. More than 80% of them ranged from 20 to 55 millimeters or 2 to 5 centimeters in length, which researchers believe point to the fact that they were carved by women and children. Wei Qi, a paleoanthropologist with the Chinese Academy of Sciences and lead scientist of the project, said the find was an amazing discovery and this artifact here especially caught Wei's attention. Wei said in his opinion, this could be a toy or a gift made by a mother for her child. You can almost feel the maker's love and passion which was deeply embedded in this piece. It was so finely made and beautifully shaped, its quality could rival the stone artifacts of much more recent periods. Also in this area, researchers failed to find large amounts of animal remains that are common in a habitat and the near absence of large size stone tools could be a sign that few adult workers were involved in these activities. These are all additional evidences that suggest the site was indeed a playground instead of a living or working area. The small amounts of animal fossils discovered at the Heihegu site were all herbivores such as elephants and rhinos. This could be the reason why children and their mothers could feel safe enough to sit by the lake making large amounts of stone toys. There are challenges however about whether these rocks were indeed made by hand and not just created by nature. Wei said he was sure that these stone pieces were handmade because if they are not, most stone pieces in museums today would be a subject of doubt. But he did admit that the discovery did bring up some difficult questions. It is commonly believed that the first hominids ventured out of Africa about 1.8 million years ago via a route from Europe to Asia. But if there were hominids in China at the same time, the date or route of the expansion should maybe be reconsidered. Now when I was a kid, we used to play with rocks too, but it was pretty much just throwing it at each other. And the rule of the game was uh, whoever cries first loses. If you think about it, that's such a horrible barbaric game. Also I did want to point this out, but uh, is it me? Because how can you tell these stones were toys? I mean they look like just regular rocks to me, I don't know, maybe I'm too spoiled with my transfer formers, but uh, I don't know. These just don't look like toys to me. But let me know, guys, if these things look like toys to you. Also, let me know what were your favorite toys when you were a kid. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. See you later.